oil. <laughs> he was on Impulsive. Yes. Our Impulsive. Our Hetty. Our Impulsive. He was on it. Uh, and boy, was it bad. Him and Logan were never meant to speak to each other. Logan shouldn't be interviewing people like this. Nick Kroll shouldn't be doing interviews. But he comes around every time he's like, um, Bill Burr, when he has something to promote, oh, he's around, oh, he's... So they made him for an hour and 42 minutes sit there and play along on Impulsive. But he was on the screen. Yeah, I wish he was really there. Jewish people do not go out during Corona better. season. And Nick Kroll looked terrible. You could tell. Look at this freeze frame says it all. He is a junkie. And he uses his father's money. Here's Nick Kroll in his little computer room. This is what happens when you're Jewish and you hide being gay for 38 years. And here's Logan. Bro, this low-key sucks. Bro, this low-key, I was going to say, should we delete this? But no, I promised... Netflix, we'd get this one no, in. No, Logan is a big fan of Nick Kroll, so he's yeah. nervous. Oh, okay. Bro, low-key, I'm very nervous around <laughs> comedians. All right, so let's see what kind of nonsense happens in this. Okay? Uh, where do we start today, uh, Jules? You could just go to 620s when he comes out. If 620? You want the oh, yeah, I always like to see the reveal of the loser. Wait a minute. It looks like he comes in earlier than that. Oh, wait. Yeah, they had some audio problems. Let's watch this. Big Mike, Logan Paul, and this weasel. He's been right under my nose this whole time. Nick Kroll? Come on, Nick. Wake up, Nick. Hey, can somebody wake Nick up? Tell him it's over for him. Has he been alerted that it's all over? And you could really scare these guys. Be like, Nick, this is what you say to some Dude, Nick, I don't know how you're doing it, man. Uh, but whatever you do, stay off Twitter. Holy shit. You know, good luck. And say this stuff to them on Instagram. I'll go into like a batch. The bachelorettes are the easiest one to do. I go into the bachelorette and I go, oh, man, dude, it's good to see you're still kicking it after what they've uh, put you through this today on Twitter. Jesus, you can't. Uh, every other tweets about you, man. I hope you get through this. Hey, for all that it's worth, I believe you didn't do it. They absolutely check. And this is the... <laughs> they run to the computer. What's going on? And they search everything. And then they end up do finding other stuff that's bad about them. They go, is this what he's talking about? Is this what he's talking about? Or I'll go on. This is what I always do to a girl I hate. I go, why is everyone exposing you on Twitter? You didn't even do anything wrong. Man, you know, this is... I wouldn't wish what they're doing to you on my worst enemies. And these girls again. Ah! You know, they scramble to the keyboard. So let's do that to Nick Kroll. He's so stupid enough that we could get a real scare going through his spine, huh? Imagine the scare going through a guy like that with all that guilt, and you scare him. Woo! It gets chilly! There you go. Come on, Nick. Show your face. I know he's up to something. We're going to find out together. Here you go. I can make him the host. Woo! Is that is that a fault of... Oh! Here he comes. That's fantastic. Does he stay like that most of the time? Is he, is he pretty one-faced? Is he one-faced? That's my boy, oh, Big Mike. It. It's coming. Screen. Look oh, at this. Yeah. They're trying to get him on Zoom. He really could hold a pose. <laughs> Nick Kroll would be a big catch, they're saying, if we could get him. Yes. He's never. He's a guy he's who... He's an A-lister. I'll tell you this. People like Nick Kroll and that other scam artist from Comedy Central, uh, Dan Tosh.0, they avoid this podcast world like the plague because they got so much dirty secrets. <laughs> and they're making so much money. They don't want to risk it all. They stay off Twitter. They stay off podcasts. They know. And I'll tell you, you can see it right in their eyes. And I'm coming for you, Kroll. We're taking this whole empire down. 
I hope. I mean, or he's a great guy. I'm just judging by the look on his face. That's it. Exactly. Let's see what he says. Perpetually sad. <laughs> What's he so? Huh? That if that face is in 2020, I don't know what is. <laughs> that that face is just 2020 <laughs> incarnate, dude. Good it's like what a shit Rich dick. fucking year. A shit app and a shit. Look at this look on his face. I don't want to be here. Oh. That's his actual show. face. Oh, here he comes. Is it is it the speaker view? Bro. The full screen view. And you know, Nick Kroll, the last thing any real comic wants to do is go anywhere near Logan Paul. The only one who wants it is Tim Dillon. Because this is the lifestyle he secretly wants. Tim Dillon's biggest dream is for Bryce Hall to be on his balls tonight at eight at BOA. <laughs> but every other com comedian, this is like their worst nightmare to be talking to Logan Paul. The Japanese kill guy, right? Yeah. Okay. So I can't uh, believe he even took this risk. Nick Kroll, and you'll see at the end, we have proof that Nick Kroll does not want to be here. Watch. Asked here he on comes. Mute. Oh, okay. Hey, man. Any chance you could, you could do <laughs> sound also so you can have the podcast? And they think he's huge because he's on Netflix and to a YouTuber, Netflix is. is I, I need to figure this high out. I don't know how goes. to do full screen. So, like, Logan. Like to him, he's like, dude, Netflix though, man. Whereas us, we're like, Netflix is crap. It's awful. Basically, Netflix is like almost like YouTube premium, almost kind like of. one above YouTuber it's like content. If every YouTuber made right? a movie instead of just yes. a vlog. <laughs> That's where YouTubers aspire to be directors. Netflix. So they could do their horse shit there. It goes Vine, YouTube, Netflix. That's like their ladder. So Logan Paul's about to interview Nick Kroll. And because Nick Kroll's on Netflix, he's like, dude, I'm talking to like a legend. And it's like, no, he's less than you. You're higher up than Kroll. But Logan's talking like, I can't believe you even gave us the time. And Big Mike's like, he's one of the funniest guys out there. Big <laughs> in his face. Let's see what that, uh, what the hell these two do. Someone just fell over. Oh, yeah. I think it's looking promising. There he is. So Nick, we see you now. If you could hear us, maybe give some some sort of sign language, a peace sign. Uh, oh. So you're here. <laughs> so speak up, up that nervous. Phone. Look at that nervous. No, it's not a character from the hit show Girls showing you what how nervous a man can be. It's actually Nick. This is how he Nick, are you there? Yes. Well then don't do it then if it's so struggling for you. Look at this liar. I don't care what he says he does. His first move on this planet is to lie, cheat, steal, and get from his dad. Right? Look at this rich dick. I'm looking at him. Let's just base it off his looks. And you know that he's got a billionaire father. His dad makes 999 million. He's like, well, my dad's not a billionaire. Okay. But this really is all based off of the fact that he's so different in all these interviews than he is in any of his comedic work. Well, yeah, reason, if you're going to be a, off as imagine if you saw me in interviews like you saw me on the show like this and then in interviews, I'm like, wow, oh, we want to go. Sorry, I'm too scared. <laughs> Wake up then if you want to be a com comedy man. Let's see what he says. He's evil, they're saying. Good. Yeah, can you hear me now? Oh yes, my He's a rat. He's a rat, they say. Oh, how are you, brother? I'm good. I'm, I'm just uh, struggling with this. Yeah, oh yeah, you're struggling with what? Your mental health? Is every day a sob fast treat? Doesn't he look like, I sleep till three, I can barely get out of bed because I'm or sob. Or he's like a psychotic, sociopathic guy who's able to put on all of this, these other things, but he's really just cold and empty. I mean, really, that <laughs> Succession like character, yeah. the get the uh, uh, rap song that the Succession guy does. We never showed that on the show. Now's as good a time. We liked Succession. Tony is the Succession guy. So. Exactly. That's why I said liked. Tony. <laughs> 
Tony motherfucking Hinge Collect. We have to downgrade to we liked Succession because Tony loved Succession. See, we we can't compete with him. It's the best show. So. Um, I'm going to play you who Nick Kroll is. We're taking a lot of left turns here, but I believe Danny Woodward is probably out there like this. <laughs> you tell me, Mike, when? Let's see. Uh, here is Nick Kroll at his daddy's. Oh, my it's God. So it's the great. same face. That's what I mean. It's the same. So here's a show, and I hope you've all seen Succession. I feel like autists don't watch Succession. <laughs> they hate it. Well, Tony is the one who's like, it's a hundred percent serious drama. There's it's a no goofy jokes comedy at all, and then you're able to see the comedy in it if you're a comedian that's been studying for years. I it's like, like it's a comedy. <laughs> you don't love that. You don't love that. Look at this guy. I love how Mike lets him say two words, then pauses the video. Ha, ha, ha. So you don't love it. You'd love if I did the opposite. Maybe he does love it, and that's why he's laughing so hard. Mm. Don't assume. Grow some guts, <laughs> sir. I just love how, you know, that's what Josh Denny does. He loves it. Oh, you love it. Yeah, that way. That way it's not a fight, is it? All right. This is Nick Kroll. Good evening, everyone. It's a pleasure to have you. And this also does not show the character correctly. I want to say this too. (laughs) This character I'm about to show, this doesn't show how he's like Nick Kroll. This shows a completely different side of his character. Everybody knows Succession, so hopefully they know what they're talking about, right? I hope they do. I just want to hear the song. Same. (laughs) Absolutely. Sorry. Here it is. Nick Kroll my dad doing something life and work that Nick Kroll would never do so when Ray you're not watching planning this she asked me to help out with um, with a little tribute to a certain uh, flavor. get that guy Vlad the impaler and get after him. a lot of convincing well here he goes here we are is he about to strip just remember I think he's I'm going to masturbate on stage to a this is nothing dad. like Nick Kroll my boy squiggle cooked up this beat for me Check it. Born on the North Bank, king of the East Side, 50 years strong. Now he's rolling in a sick ride. That's me. Suits, raking in loot. Looking at Nick Kroll. General, y'all best oh, no. salute. Yo, bitches be no. happy, but the king <laughs> is down. No. Rock no. the no. haters, where we go, roll Ken back. W.A. You remember the chorus, I mean, right? It is burning my eyes. Let's see. I cannot look away. L to the OG. Dude be the OG. And he playing. Oh, yes. Playing like a pro. L to the OG, do be the OG. This is nothing and like Nick Kroll. Yeah. Okay, that was just for us, but <laughs> uh, we'll show you the Nick Kroll part now. Here's Nick Kroll. This is more. Here's the, the real Nick Kroll. Yeah, the behind the scenes of Nick Kroll and his dad. Ask me. Ask you what? Ooh. Would you like to do some illegal drugs with me? Yes, I would. Wow. There he is. Nick Kroll, come on out. Oh, that is Nick Kroll. (laughs) Exactly. So this is Nick Kroll. Oh, the world is so hard because you're so rich. And, oh, your dad's never going to respect you, right? Because you're just a comic and your dad's a billionaire. That's Nick Kroll. (laughs) Now that you know that, let's get him angered. Let's pick on him. All right, what's our first time code with Nick Kroll here today? Nick Kroll comes out. That's what we just saw here today. That was not a good showing. He looked very nervous, right? Um, You can go to 1859. Most of this is just awkward interviews with Mike and Logan, but Uh, we love it. 1859. What are we going to see here? Um, Just Mike talking about cancel culture. Okay, and, and just we're going to see some general awkwardness yes. at first where they're, eh. Nick Kroll, remember, he doesn't want to be here. He doesn't know who Big Mike is. And Big Mike kind of carries himself as if he's on the same level as yes, Kroll. Okay, so let's see. All right now, back to the program. Can I, Nick, can, I, can we go back to Big Mouth for a second? I want to ask you, yeah. um, 
uh, uh, some something about cancel culture because you oh. uh, you mentioned earlier that animation and cartoon kind of gives you this uh, this almost this wall to hide behind when it comes to uh, what you are able to say and not say without being cited by the the evil mythical creatures that exist in the realm of cancel culture, right? And you, you saw it with television first, and then you started to see it with movies, and then everybody was like, but it, but comedy will be safe, like stand-up will be safe. And then you saw that stand-up wasn't safe anymore, and that started to, to fucking fold under the pressure. How long do you think cartoons and animation have before... So he was told this would be easy and 20 minutes, okay? <laughs> That's basically what we're dealing with here. And Big Mike has asked him basically... To, to write a thesis here, a uh, college report. You know, imagine how hard it would be. And that's why I say, unless you're getting paid a lot of money or you're having a lot of fun, why would you want to do an interview where you're asked such strenuous questions where you have to be so thoughtful? And look at this, all the work that it would take to answer that question. He's going, can I just say fuck off and rip the fucking ethernet cord from the wall and get out of this but no the and fucking wimp fish man the despicable fish man answers the question and also we always said that impulsive was so great because big mike and logan are like too dumb to know yes. which questions yes. you should be asking look someone. at these two idiots uh <laughs> If you had to put all of life's problems into one bag, divide that bag by 75, put it on a train to Rhode Island at 226 miles per hour while doing heroin in Branford, Connecticut, yep, while reading my book, how many pages would you be out if you were listening to the audiobook in a car going 65 miles an hour from Pennsylvania to where? Encino, California? Exactly, Logan. Thank you. Um, can I just unplug Skype? You know what I mean? Yes. How awful would it be to have to go through this? You'll never see me go through something like this. Let's watch this again. <laughs> Here you go. Will be safe, and then you saw that stand up wasn't safe anymore, and that started to, to fucking fold under the pressure. Jesus. How long do you think cartoons and animation have before <laughs> cancel culture says, Yo, we don't care if you if you animate these tales, this is not okay, these are sensitive topics, and they shouldn't be talked about on Look cartoons? You know, I, I gotta say, like, I don't fully, um, I don't entirely share your point of view on, on, on like, uh, on it. In general, like I, I think obviously, like wait, wait, wait. Keep... He doesn't agree with cancel culture, like Joe Rogan doesn't agree with coronavirus. The same sort of, um, I'm gonna pretend that doesn't exist because I can't right now. Can't. Right? I can't even deal with it. Like Nick Kroll's gonna pretend that, just like Joe DeRosa. I don't even know if cancel cultures. I never even heard of it. Oh, yeah? Or is it that you have a billion cancel culture moments waiting to happen? You know, that's all I see when I look at this guy. But I feel he's like he's too he's lied. also the cancel culture type. So he yeah, can that's them the off thing, and get too. Them to search. Well, yeah, you got a lot of guys like this who have been jammed into this corner where they're like, do my fans know that I'm everything they try to cancel? Like there are a couple, like Jim Jeffries is in this position too, where yes. he's like, I can't even smile or enjoy myself because I'm everything my fans are trying to put down, right? So that's where Nick Kroll's at. That's where Tosh.0 is at. It's this weird position where they never took a stand and now their own audience would kill them <laughs> if they knew what they've done. Now we don't know what they've done, but you can just assume, look at his face. Does this look like the face of a guy who hasn't done a million bad Aziz Ansari level bad things? Now people go, I thought Aziz, it was all, no, no, no. Whatever that girl said Aziz did, I wager he did 20 million times worse. Think about Aziz coming at you, trying to touch you. Whoa. 
that's a fate worse than a beatdown or a rape. Trust she me. She probably killed a guy while they were trying to go do ketamine together. I like how people don't understand. They're like, oh, I don't get it. What was so wrong with the Z's? Sounds like a bad date. Sounds like a bad date. Sounds like a nightmare on Elm Street. You know, you guys forget. Imagine Aziz trying to finger you. Think about this. I know. You know what I mean? It's like, you guys forget. It's like, no, no, no. It's not like a handsome white guy. <laughs> it's Aziz Pistachio. I'm sorry. Coming at you. It's, yeah, trauma. And they don't know how to describe it, right? There's not a definition. You know, because what you want to say is, so I was kissed. Okay, kissing is not illegal. By an Indian person. Oh, okay. That's not illegal. I know, I'm trying to, it was Aziz Ansari. <laughs> nope, still not illegal. But it felt illegal. <laughs> See? Maybe you could find it in your hearts to understand. Imagine Aziz Ansari. It's bad enough if a white, cool jock from the lacrosse team tries to rape you, but at least you're fucking a hot guy. You know, Aziz comes out, hello, open up for Dr. Aziz. You'd be like, it's traumatic. It's unexplainably traumatic. <laughs> All right? Yeah, and that someone in the chat just reminded me they just made a big deal out of switching Jenny Slate. Jenny Slate. With, she used to be on Big Mouth yes. apparently, but then they switched her for a black actress because she was voicing a black character. A whack-tress, they call her. Exactly. So what do you call a illegal. black actress? A whack-tress. <laughs> exactly. Anyways, an the only thing move. they should be acting is is the right way instead See? of how they're acting on these streets. I wish they could act on these streets the right way instead of how they're acting, which is completely Jemimish. Thank you. Every black woman I know is so such Jemima, which is a nasty nickname. Wow. Um, in but their anyways. eyes, in their eyes, in their eyes, not in my eyes. But anyways, he just got all of those people on his team. So now Big Mike's going, how do you feel about these cancel culture losers yes. that are trying to stop comedy? And, and he's like, like, um, uh. shut the fuck up. Like Kroll's like, do not connect my audience to me and cancel culture. Yes. Shut up. This is certainly, look at him. Um... Uh, me and my dad and our corporate attorney have a strategy for this. It includes pretending we didn't hear the question. Let's hear this, asshole. Um, I don't entirely Cheers. share your point of view on 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 like uh, on it in general. Like I, I think obviously like things people have gotten a lot more sensitive. Pandering it's to his more base. Complicated to how you make stuff. Mm -hmm. But I still think you can get away with crazy shit. Um, and I think you have to be. Yeah, yeah, crazy. Like, you could say, I want to fuck a guy still. You <laughs> could get naked with Big J still. Oh, yeah, you could do crazy shit. Put my George Floyd segments on Comedy Central, then. <laughs> Why don't you do Mike's Best of George Floyd and put it on TV? Well, they said Would as they long like as that? it's animated, so Sven's video. There you go. Imagine an animated series directed by me mouthed by me about George Floyd. It ain't gonna be something they like. I'll tell you that. That's why I'm into it. It's so easy. It's too easy. You've given me such a power here to go, George Floyd. And you will go, what the fuck are you, George Floyd? What? Are you kidding me? Just these two common names put together. George Floyd. Two names that never moved the needle one way or the other, ever. George Floyd, George of the Jungle, Floyd Idiot, Floyd George, George Floyd. Now all of a sudden you put that together, put a smile on your face like this, say George Floyd, uh-oh, what's up his sleeve? Can we air this, they say. You can't, not my George Floyd stuff. No one's willing to go near what I do with that guy.